Hello guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back with another MLS Kits video. We're really going for it on the MLS Kits videos front because you guys are enjoying the videos, so we thought today we'd cover three more. Who have we covered so far? I can't remember. Quite a lot of teams. A lot of teams. <laughs> Portland Timbers, Chicago <laughs> Fire, the league. Yeah. Uh, pretty much everyone yeah. essentially. Apart from these three teams, obviously, the season is getting closer now. I think it starts towards the end of March, is that right? Something March. like that. Yeah. Uh, so we've got three more today to cover. We're going to look at LA Galaxy's away jersey, San Jose Earthquakes, uh, I think it's a new home kit. Um, and then Toronto FC have a kit as well. But before we go too far, don't forget if you are new to uh, Club Footy, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Let us know what you make of these shirts down in the comments below. And also, Phil, what shirt is that there? This is Fiorentina's away shirt. I think it was last year, a year when they had four away shirts. It's nice. It's yeah, really nice. It's a very nice one. I'm it's loving a the. Um... Bit tight on the. Uh... On me here, but it is a good, <laughs> good design. I love a little kind of trim around the collar there. As well, yeah, actually. the trim on, on the sleeves were well. really nice um, pattern. Yeah, really it's good. good. That good shirt. I've never really kind of consciously been aware of that shirt before. If you know what I mean by that, yeah. so there's a look to it, but it's really, really, really yeah. nice. Yeah. This one as well, obviously, Columbia's oh, gorgeously yeah. fluorescent highlighter of a shirt. That's, I think it's available like, for dirt still cheap. Available, on, honestly. You, yeah, you go on forty.com and search for Columbia Home Shirt. It's just so so cheap. It's like a ten or something. It's like a set, something like that, literally. which is ridiculous. But anyway, we did we digress. Let's go into the new LA Galaxy. Galaxy shirt. So this is the away jersey, um, which has just been unveiled now. We're obviously, uh, the hugely successful MLS kind of team in general. So this is a big mm. deal. Um, and Phil, what is your initial impressions of this? I'm not used to kind of the weird kind of glitch pattern there in the middle as well. Yep, this is it's official. I think the glitch uh, trend, if you like, we've talked about it with New York, and there's been a few other glitch-related kits. This one is very interesting design, isn't I, it? I, I yeah. believe it's unique. I haven't seen it before, um, and it's yeah. I, for me, I, when I think of LA Galaxy, certainly in, in kind of fairly recent years, you think of the sash and it, you kind of think, oh, maybe that would have been quite cool yeah, as yeah. a glitch design. So it's a very different look. I don't recall a similar shirt to this in their history. Um, from a colour perspective, it's very clean and they've essentially got the three colours there with the two shades of uh, navy and the kind of silver white colour there. Yeah, but it's nice and clean, isn't it? Yeah, one thing I did see a lot of fans comment on is that it looks a bit like... Um, Funnily enough, a San Jose kit, and San Jose were back in the day very much rivals of LA Galaxy, so that's riled up a few fans. But you'll see in a bit. Is it mainly because of the colour scheme? I think just the colour yeah. scheme. Yeah, it doesn't look like the one we're about to talk to no, next it directly. Doesn't. It's just a similar colour scheme. Yeah. Which, so I think. I mean, there's not that many colours to go for really. Well, that, football, that's, so that's, that's the thing. Like, yeah. And actually, I think I think as a shirt, it's really interesting. The I design like it. itself is um, it's a bit strange. You know, the fact that the glitch pattern sort of. Is, it's just a bit everywhere, isn't it? It is a bit everywhere, but then I guess... You know, There's no discernible pattern, but again, I guess no. what, well, I'm old enough to remember glitching TVs and the, yes, there was no discernible exactly. pattern there either. Sometimes a glitch just appears anywhere. Well, that, so that's like, what I do like about this. It has that element of randomness, yeah. which I think is actually missing on a lot of so-called glitch kits, which actually... Yeah, they look, they look like they've gone through a PR process, don't they? They're like, they're exactly. really stylized. Exactly, yeah. And this is so like broken that it almost kind of works. You're like, yeah. it's a little bit there near the collar as well. It's just like, I kind of like that little yeah. bit where it's just messed up with the line. I like this. I think the part of the glitch kits go, it's kind of one that actually gets it. Yeah, um, I agree. And uh, one once of the again, nicer kits in the league, they integrate so. the style so well into their logo. <laughs> it's so dramatic. <laughs> it's so humble. Yeah. I always yeah. forget how, how bold that is, but fair play to them. Yep. Uh, I like this kit. I think it's a good, solid kit. Um, I know it doesn't really, you know, it's not going to change the world or anything like that, but as far as glitch kits go, it's a good effort. Uh, to me, it's decidedly more dressing than the San Jose uh, Earthquakes. Uh, this is their yes. new, um, this is the way kit. No, it's the new home kit, sorry. The, or as they call it, the primary shirt. What's that? Oh, about? Yeah, yeah, primary, primary secondary. secondary and well, e even worse, you could say, is that the whole trend of naming. This is the unit. Unity. Just. Sorry, lads. It's your home kit, and that's all it ever will be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't need to see that. Um, that and that's happening too much. This is quite boring, in my opinion. But what do you? Yeah. Do you well, the thing is that this. I was when I first saw pictures. I was really worried that this was uh, the template which you saw a lot, which is called the Vegista. And off the top of my head, it was the one where. You might remember Leicester City's third shirt. There was that big yeah, debacle it, around that. It, it's and, very training toppy, but go on. This, think... this one, so thankfully it is actually slightly different. And the one thing which is a real shame is that there's a really interesting little zigzag pattern, but you just can't see it. It ends up looking quite Where is that meant to plain. be? Because I can't see it either. Exactly. If you look closely there... Oh, um, yeah, the little weave kind of thing. Yeah, and I think that effect, if that was a bit more stylized or a bit more kind of brought out... That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It would have been, yeah, a bit more interesting. I'd agree that it's quite underwhelming. Um, a step back from the last home shirt, which is quite nice. And this one is, it's just very safe. You know, it's not really... They don't have a thing. sponsor, do they? 
I don't um, believe they do, no. And, and I have it's to weird because yeah. in an era where you see sponsored shirts, mm. when, when the one isn't one there, which probably how football should be, yeah. it feels weird. It feels like it's, the kit's not complete all of a sudden. Yeah. It gives us like a almost Sunday League level this <laughs> to it. Even though uh -huh. that's fair or not, it just doesn't sure. feel like a finished kit, mm. which, is, which is strange and different. Mm. To me, it's just a very forgettable kit. I probably would have forgot about it in two minutes. And like, <laughs> it's just, I'm not saying it's the worst kit ever, but it's just to me, it's quite bland. Um, I feel like, as you said, they could have been a lot more creative with it. So I'm, I'm going to pass on this one personally. Sure, sure. Uh, next on to Toronto. Uh, this is their new uh, primary jersey as well. Uh, their home kit, essentially. Uh, the Reds, as they're known as the very creative name there for Toronto. <laughs> I wonder what, what give that inspiration. Um, they've released this shirt. Um, it's okay. Phil, what is your take on this? Yeah, I hate to say it again and sound like a broken record, but it is a relatively vanilla, relatively plain shirt in that yeah. sense. And it's a shame because actually I was, yeah, there are some good um, good shirts in MLS this year, but there's still, unfortunately, a few of these sort of filler shirts, I'd, I'd like to think. Um, it looks like they kind of took an old Bayern template or something like that. Sure, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. biteable. Well, it looks like the Real Madrid one, doesn't it, as well? It does, just it does. Got, just got red, essentially. Yeah, the, the thing which losing, loses marks, again, a common thing after, we often talk about is the one button thing. I just don't like that. I don't dislike the one yeah. button thing, though. Yeah, yeah. See, that's, a, that's a taste thing. It doesn't. That's a taste thing, true. What, why true. do you hate one button? I find, I find them quite unnecessary, I think. For, for most shirts, and they, they do work with some designs, granted. But do you like like Grandad collar shirts though, in general? See, I would. For me, it's, I do. It's like one Grandad or the other. Shirts. Yeah, I think I would prefer if you're going to have buttons, usually either a couple of buttons or again more of a, <laughs> an old school. So what's the minimum amount of buttons then? Two. I just yeah, I think <laughs> it's like a halfway house. It's trying to be, you know, sort of a bit more retro, but it's not really retro. It's just the, to me, it's a bit. Um, yeah, I, I do. Must, must admit, I do Half dislike bits. unnecessary buttons when it's like sometimes you get <laughs> items of clothing. It's just a button sure. there. You're like, what yeah, what's that button doing there? Yeah, like you know, you just have random buttons on yeah. things. Like, well, what are they doing there? Um, but, so it's it's not the worst shirt ever once again. It's just no. ultimately quite plain. Um, hmm. And it, well, I guess that's the point of it, really. Uh, it's an all right little shirt. Anyway, guys, that's just from free shirts there. Don't forget as well, you can check out all the other uh, MLS kits that we discussed so far. There'll be links on screen so you can check out those videos. And also let us know which one your favorite is out of these three that we've discussed today in the comments below. I've been Steven, this has been Phil. Make sure you subscribe for more kit news and all that kind of stuff every single week. And we'll see you soon.